Hello, this is Bridget Val with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, so we are moving on with the shadow work. And last night at the end of the one that we were working with, I showed you a couple of prompts and um, fill in the blanks and some questions here. And I said I would share mine with you so that if anybody was having a hard time filling this in, they could see how someone else does it. Okay, so the first part says, I always feel like I'm the blank one, and I wrote down the responsible one, um, because that's the first thing that came to mind, and that's something that has been brought to my attention since I was a little girl from, like, my, my nana would be like, you're your parents' parents. Um, everywhere I've gone to work, they put me into a responsible role of, like, you're the manager, oh, you're taking care of all the sick animals, oh, you don't have a day off, oh, you're coming in on your day off to do the field trip, or, oh, you came in for one day a week, well, now you run the place. So, I've always been put into that role. Um, blank is how I managed to escape. I said sleep. So, um, sometimes when I'm overwhelmed, you know, there's, like, so many things to get done, and I'm like, ah, I just go to sleep, shut down. And then, uh, blank brings me peace. I wrote wieners. My dogs. Okay. I got a lot of wiener dogs. And then I'm so tired of mean people and negative people. But I'm excited about meeting high vibe souls and new opportunities. I want to try to be more organized so that I can finally move forward. For some reason, I always end up sabotaging everything, but I deserve love and abundance, okay? So the things that I filled in were like the mean people, the negative people. That's the things I'm, I'm sick of, but I'm excited about meeting high vibe souls and having new opportunities. I'm going to try to be more organized so that I can move forward, get past the, the hump that I've been at. Um, something I always seem to do with sabotage everything, but I deserve love and abundance. So the next part was the questions, and it was, um, why am I sometimes seduced into victim mentality? And I wrote, it's easier to take a break or to feel less guilt when over my failures if I don't have to take all the blame. Sometimes I fall under the fake illusions of this 3D world or under the fake illusions of the mind of like, oh no, I have this or I am that. When I was younger, I took on the belief of like, there must be something wrong with me, a chemical imbalance in the brain. I must be, you know, suicidal and deeply depressed and dark and despair. And I pulled that role on big time and I started listening to certain music and dressing a certain way, slicing my wrist with razor blades, took an entire bottle of Prozac, but, you know, I got past that and stopped doing that, but then later it was like Lyme, I was like, oh, I, I have Lyme, let me own it and, you know, become it, basically. <clears throat> what systematic self-improvement techniques can I use to replace my victim mentality into a more empowering belief? about myself or the situation. So, I am a healer, and I wrote, I am a powerful, infinite healer, and I've already healed my wounds, and I'm proving daily. So by me showing up daily to basically, like, like I say this to people, I'm like, if you put your best foot forward, like if you know that, like, if I'm gonna record something for my, for my YouTube channel, or I'm gonna get dressed up for work, or I'm gonna put makeup on to do this thing that I wanna be, able to look my best, be my best for, then I should be doing that every day so that I'm always being my best self. So that eventually it's just second nature for me to always be my best self. And I'm always being that. I'm always feeling that. I'm always putting that forward. So that's always going to be there, continuing to evolve and continuing to improve. And all I have to do is show up knowing I'm putting my best foot forward. Because then, then there's nothing to be guilty about. There's nothing to feel inadequate or um, like lazy over. There's no there's no excuses. It's like I'm putting my best foot forward. If it, things don't work out, that's whatever. I did my best. I looked my best. I tried my best. I applied my best at that time. And because I did it consistently every day, I improved. And I was consistently showing up as my best self, which just continue to improve my best self. 
So that's a way to do that. And there may be different techniques that you might want to start off, like guided meditation every night, or writing affirmations every day, or having a gratitude list that you start working on, or connecting with a particular set of skills or people or teachings or you know something you're interested in like a hobby some place to do something physical that's going to help you to feel better physically um, food habits whatever you feel is going to help you most about changing up the belief systems that you could be feeling victimized within or oh why me or oh i'm such a failure or oh i did this to myself type of crap nobody deserves to feel that way most of us are just exhibiting the traits of living a very long experience with a lot of wrong teachings or approaches to things in our world that sometimes are there by design because others don't want others to be good and then um, some is just the blind leading the blind and some is you know just out of the blue we can't control everything but you can always show up in your best self, knowing that you're trying your best and that's all you need to do to improve. And then what kind of thinking do I need to adopt in order to step outside of my limiting beliefs and focus on what excites me? And I wrote, high vibe, motivational, and inspired. That's what I need to be focused on. So if there's people bringing me down or there's energies that are kind of difficult or there's... Um, you know, patterns coming up or certain behaviors that are like, you know, triggering me or upsetting me, instead of engaging in that or prolonging that or keep inviting that to return, I would remove that so that I can have the motivation, the inspiration, the high vibration, the like self-care, the self-love and the self-talk that is necessary to heal. So, tomorrow... Um, I will be back to do the next part of this, but this one, fill in the blank, says, As a child, I was told not to blank. This made me very blank. I feel like things would be different if blank. I wish I could tell my child self blank. I'm so grateful for blank, but wish my guardians would have blank. Okay? I'm going to show you guys that. Alright. As a child, I was told not to. This made me very... I feel the things would be better different if I wish I could tell my child self I'm so grateful for, but wish my guardians would have blank, okay? Then we have, um, what memories did I extract from this exercise? How can I reframe these memories so that they don't continue to hurt and hinder me in the future? How can I regularly serve myself with compassionate cons consolation consolation as I would give to my child self okay so again tomorrow I will share the answers with you on these and I will even give you like a sneak peek into the next ones in case you want to go on and do a little bit more this one here is fill in the blank you can screenshot it hopefully you can read it I know it's a little hard and then beep it about boop boop beep 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 boop Beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. All right. In Mune. Namaste. I will see you guys tomorrow for part seven. I can't believe it's already been a week. <laughs>